There's no snare in my headphones. All right, <laughs> hey, hey y'all, this is a bit of a milestone for me, getting to one year on the internet. A lot of people are asking me questions that I thought I'd answer in a video. So one year, I got 20 something videos and it's been a while since I've been on camera, so I'm cleaning up my face. The barbers are not open yet, so I'm doing what I can. I'm starting to be asked, what does pills mean? And bro, how'd you make that? And what program are you using? So I'm gonna answer the what, how, and why in this video and show you some behind the scenes footage, including this never before seen footage of me not wearing pants in this video because it was ridiculously hot. Don't B-roll this. <laughs> Originally, pills were a recurring motif in my art. First here, then here, and finally here. So as a symbol, pills represent control over mind or body. That technological control is neither always good nor always bad, but they have a mutable, that is plastic, social utility. Poison and cure. So I do, well, mainly did, art. My art has the esteem of having been ripped off by the world's richest living artist, who used it for the cover of a Red Hot Chili Peppers album. But as you can see, I painted it first, and here are my receipts. As you can see, there is absolutely no chance that we both had the same idea. And what's more, he even admitted to it two years ago. Yeah, I'm sure he was talking about me. It's so good to get that off my chest. The world will know Damien, the truth will out, and you are lucky that I will never be able to afford a lawyer. Oh, hey, what's up? It's me, Plastic Pills. There you go. And that's what Plastic Pills means. Mostly nothing. <laughs> but certainly none of that red pill, blue pill, black pill, matrix, etc. jargon. I make expository theory videos, and although I studied philosophy, I am not a philosopher. I don't identify as a philosopher because I don't talk about my own ideas. I have ideas, but, but there are much better ideas out there that haven't been yet made into videos. I cannot write as well as a Nietzsche, Adorno, or Deleuze, but I can make videos better than them because they're dead. If you've been following for a bit, you're probably pretty familiar with what I'm about and what I've tried to do on this project and the progress of it over time. And I've enjoyed uh, getting to know some of you, sort of, parasocially, in the comments. Anyway, uh, after a year, here's my retrospective. So if you go back and look about a year ago, I didn't have a f***ing clue what I was doing, and it shows. I mean, I knew the material, but just now I'm starting to get a sense of direction and possibility. Back here, I didn't know how to edit sound or video. I had no sense of timing or pacing, and I didn't even know what kind of videos I wanted to make. I thought often about deleting or redoing them old videos. Here's Walker Percy again on the pleasure of hyperreal experiences. Now the Shaitshia measures his own satisfaction by the degree to which the canyon conforms to the pre- Oh God. I'm very sorry about that. I'm pretty neurotic about doing my best work and still finding out what that is. <laughs> this is funny. At first I was animating in Photoshop and you may not know what that's like, but it's really amateur and really inefficient. But to me, it's lazy not to get better like this. So here's the current trajectory and I'm at a much better point. Quote me on this. If nothing else, doing philosophy boringly is worse than not doing it. Hello, today I will talk about Friedrich Nietzsche. Chapter one, aphorism number one. Lazy. I'm gonna show you how this looks from my end. Uh, like this, for example. The funnest part of the whole gig, cutting out philosophers. Here I am cutting out Friedrich Nietzsche. So here's my process. Read, script, record, edit, and feedback. This part is you guys. A lot of years in school means I've assembled a pretty substantial library. Here's a little bit of it. And one tip, if you want to be a theory wise guy, buy books like this, collections, readers, which are still primary sources, but they take out all the parts that everyone's talking about anyway. Now, I really don't like reading off the computer, so I always start here. Let's go back and check how our niche is coming along. Okay, masking, nice. Now we gotta start on the hair. 
we're gonna be here a while. So two, scripting. Though I already know a lot of the context for this stuff, it comes down to finding those few quotations or concepts that I think you as a viewer will connect to enough to think, sure, I'll watch 15 minutes of that, or even better, wow, I need to get this book. Trying to keep it interesting and then add, usually later in the video, a few more advanced concepts that I guess people haven't heard of before. Next is editing, so I'll take a little bit longer with this. Here's the behind the scenes from the last two videos. Put it into fast forward. So I figured out pretty quick that I would need to learn how to edit better because these videos early on were just not good enough. But as I'm getting better at animating stuff, the videos actually take longer and longer to make because with every scene, I'm looking at it and thinking, nah, I could do better than three hours later. If you want some measure of how long this stuff takes, then pretty much every minute of video you see is between two and three hours of work between researching, writing, recording, and editing. So yeah, 15 minutes here, that's 30 to 40 hours. Coincidentally, it's around this 30 or 40 hour mark that I just think, God, why did I just not start vlogging? All jokes aside though, this is the most important part to me, which is making ideas visual. And that's the whole challenge of this medium. So no time wasted. Check this out. All these little motion graphics, each of these transitions, all this hot stuff that you may not notice that all goes into uh, making what I think are good videos. Here's one of the most complex videos. First, we gotta assemble and get together all the images, then film, then animate, transitions and stuff like that. This is called compositing. You can see all the audio tracks down there, all the visual graphics, all the photos, backgrounds all up here. And by the end, it looks like this, it's just a giant stack of all the elements coming together. Let me clarify my purpose here. I set out with one goal, to make my favorite YouTube channel. Now I'm not gonna drag any other channels, of course. Um, they do things differently. A lot have good theory, a lot try to be more sort of infotainment, more entertaining, though none had the balance that I'm looking for, still looking for. And that balance is between exposure to these ideas without dumbing them down, but also putting some effort into producing them, into something visual, something, I don't know, like a tour ship without being gimmicky. As you can probably tell here, I'm jumping between my phone audio and mic audio. I don't have my buddy's equipment here as usual because we are all socially distant. So as I was saying, this is a new medium and a new method of educating, and I'm still finding that balance. Definitely not there yet, but trying to get closer with every shot, maybe. I kind of see this as an artistic practice rather than just as bald information transfer. But then's the best part. I upload it in here and read these comments like this. And you know, it's really good to hear. Thanks. It means I didn't just like waste the last three weeks. So put yourself in my shoes. I'm hunched over my little tiny desk for all these hours wondering if putting this material out there has any purpose. So letting me know you got something out of it really makes me want to go on to the next one. Now let's not get all too gushy here. I'm just saying thanks and it means a lot. And every once in a while, sure, I get called a ah! Ah! but YouTube's pretty good at filtering those hounds. This video is not just about process. I want you, especially if you been around this project for a while to help me with this. And there's two ways you can help. The first is with that big one at the very end, feedback, comment, help me know what's good. Not just that you liked it, but why you like it, specifically which parts, which moments grabbed you, which videos are your favorite. Comment right now, please. <laughs> it's not just about content, but uh, the way that information is presented in this visual medium. Should I just switch to vlogging? Between the deep dives, the topical videos and the pop culture kind of fooling around stuff, plus experiments, I'm just bouncing around here, trying to put my feet on something and I would like your help with that. Second, and this is kind of an announcement, 
I am going to do the Patreon thing. And I know, I know everyone's doing it. There's a lot out there, lots of content, but this does take my time and my money uh, to put up. So you've seen a little bit of the work that I put into these vids. So joining the Patreon is just a way of being, uh, you know, materially invested in the project, if that's something that you want. And then you can decide or help me decide on the direction of this project. So there's benefits to like uh, podcasts, video content, behind the scenes stuff. But most importantly, uh, Patreon, Patrons, Patreons will be able to help. <laughs> Patreons will be able to decide on the video content. I don't want this on 100% on me anymore. So if you want more Deleuze, Patreon. If you want Lacan only from now on, Patreon. Maybe you want some more media vids. I don't know. Uh, this is now quite small, but I get the sense that we're on our way to something. And if you want to have a say and, you know, be invested, I would be grateful for that. And that it's a more of a communal project than just on me. If I could work on this more often, then yeah, no one would have to go into student debt to learn theory. I did, but long-term goal, burn it down, burn it all down. All of this is to say right now, this feels kind of like a me project and I'm getting bad posture sitting in my desk, obsessing over scene transitions over and over. Um, now that we're past the year, I want to see if this can be better, level up. And that means involving other people with what I kind of started here. Um, and yeah, I need help to do that in whatever way you can, if you want. Anyway, I think you've heard enough from me. Uh, let me hear from you and hit the subscription bell. Otherwise it's random whether or not you get notified when I post on here. Maybe check out some of the videos you've missed. Check out our podcast and please leave me with your thoughts, please. So I'm gonna get back to work. I hope it was interesting seeing some of the behind the scenes stuff and thanks very much for your support. It means a lot and for holding me up here. You will see me later and I will talk to you later. Peace.